Okay, good morning, good morning. I got a special for you. I'm actually doing a reaction video today on this. Let's see if we can't get a couple shorts in here to entertain the people that don't like really long videos. Where's my play button? You protect your kids from me using the bathroom. If you back a wild animal into a corner, they're going to become a dangerous animal. Okay, right here. If you back a wild animal into a corner, they're going to become a dangerous animal. I know that he, she, it, whatever pronouns he, they want to use, thinks that this is a threat to women and to mothers. But apparently they forgot that women, okay, real women, the ones that give birth, okay, have this thing we call mama bear mode. So if you try and get into a bathroom with my daughter and you're acting like he's doing, we're going to have some issues. And if you back me into a corner or any mother into a corner, you may not like the mama bear. But listen, let's listen to the rest of what he got to say. So if you want to die on that hill of yours, of righteousness and moral majority, then you go right ahead. I Now this got me too. If you want to die on that hill of yours, righteous and moral majority. Okay, why, why does he need to call it this? That it's righteous and it's moral. Yes, we know that. We know it's righteous, and we know it's moral majority. Clearly, he's agreeing that what he's doing is not righteous and not moral, and it's not of the majority. But let's continue. Dare you to try and stop me from going into a women's bathroom? Oh, sir. Sir. Dare me to try and stop you. A tiny little woman like me trying to stop you. Now, of course I will because I have what's called a phone. And then I have 911. And when the cops come, I will let them know that you tried to go into the woman's restroom with children and women present in the women's restroom and that you threaten me. Either that or I'm going to go and get this huge, gigantic beast of a man that I call my husband. And let him know, hey, there's this guy trying to get into the women's bathroom and your daughter is in there. And I'm pretty sure this man is then going to do what another man da did and identify as a tooth fairy and take some of your teeth. But let's continue. It will be the last mistake you ever make. I dare you to try and stop a transgender woman in my presence from using the bathroom. It will... Oh, darling, don't you know that we 80s kids, what you're now dealing with... You dare us to do something, and we're going to do it just because you dared us to do it. You don't have to triple dog dare us. You don't have to double dog dare to the highest dog dare. You just have to say, do it, see what happens. So I, I want to let you in on that one. I'd like you to know, do it, see what happens. Be the last mistake you ever make. This is a call to action and a call to arm. There's a reason why people are scared to have you, sir, who are clearly a man and will always be a man, around their children. It's because you're threatening people online. This is not the answer if you're trying to convince someone that you should be in a female-only space to just go right down to threats. And by the way, you are not being backed into a corner, okay? Just use the men's room. Simple solution. Why on earth do you so badly want access to women's-only spaces? You well, ma'am, I'll tell you too. The reason he wants access to women's spaces 
is exactly what you just said. He is a man. He will always be a man. And as a man, his testosterone levels are up there. Now, I know my husband may disagree because my husband is a very sensitive, loving man. But that kind of man right there, they need to let everybody know, I'm the boss hog. I'm a man. I'm a manly man. And that's why he goes directly to threats. That's why he does exactly what he does. That's why he says and threatens the way he threatens. It's because he has the need through science and nature to be a tough guy. Unfortunately, he's trying to be a woman. So that doesn't go well. It, it doesn't bode well for him. And that's why... You're confused, I'm confused, everyone's confused when they do that. Like, why are you trying to threaten? Because he still has testosterone running through his body. He's a man. And what the feminists out there call toxic. He has to show his manliness to everybody. He's a man. And that's why he does that. It's because he's got to be tough. And unfortunately, that is not a very feminine uh, action, way, personality. And that's why women are like, uh, wow, why you got to be like that? And that's why. Because he's a man. And his testosterone and the way he is as a man is infeminate or unfeminate. And if it's not a word, it's a word now. And that's why. Because he doesn't know how to be a woman. Because he thinks that just because there are some tough broads out there. That that kind of behavior is okay. And it's feminine. And it's not. No. It's not. We use logic. You use force. Sorry, dude. If you try and come into a bathroom with me or any female. And they don't feel comfortable with you being there. I don't care if you are a man. I don't care if you are a man that wants to be a woman. Our space, our feelings, go away. Make your own bathrooms. That's what you can do since you're backed into a corner and you feel trapped. Make your own bathrooms. Then nobody has nothing to say. And I'm sure the young lady that did this video, she would have nothing to say to that. If you said, I want a trans bathroom where women, men, girls, boys, everybody can go if they need to go. I'm sure she's not going to say, no, because you can't do that. In fact, I bet you she'd say that. Because then she'll have her bathroom, I'll have my bathroom, our kids will have our bathroom, and you will have your bathroom where you can go and use a toilet where you feel comfortable. You see how I did that there? That's the difference between women and men. It's called logic. Hey, I have logic. Yeah, you do, but you're still a man. And you're a very sensitive and loving man, but you're still a man. And you're still prone to these testosterone behaviors. Just like I'm prone to my feminine behaviors and being absolutely toxic female. 
I could agree with that. But what I can't agree with is the simple fact that this has gone on for stupid long and they just need to make their own bathrooms and get over themselves. Okay, I go with that. All right. And that's real with Robo and my husband. <laughs>